welcome to this week's news bulletin from the Christian Institute. Yoko Ono, Sting and former American President Jimmy Carter have signed a letter calling on the UK Parliament to consider decriminalising drugs. Celebrities, also including Sir Richard Branson, have called on the public and Parliament to debate the issue, saying, We must seriously consider shifting resources away from criminalising tens of millions of otherwise law-abiding citizens and move towards an approach based on health, harm reduction, cost effectiveness and respect for human rights. But the government has previously rejected similar attempts, saying that drugs are illegal because they are harmful, destroying lives and causing untold misery to families and communities. A primary school in Sheffield is facing a backlash from parents over its plans to expand sex education lessons to children as young as four. Grenoside Primary School is consulting on plans in which eight-year-olds could be taught about contraceptives, six-year-olds taught about homosexual relationships and four-year-olds given basic information about reproduction in mammals. Many parents have reacted to the proposal, saying they are prepared to withdraw their kids from the classes. One parent, Katie Burrell, whose son attends the school, said, The lessons for six and seven-year-olds are far too explicit. I am by no means a prude, but some of this material is beyond stupidity. But head teacher Colin Fleetwood defended the plans, saying, No decisions have yet been taken about what we will teach, because we are currently consulting with parents. This curriculum starts in the infant years. It is vital children learn what is appropriate to their age. A mayor in France has presided over a homosexual marriage in a bid to force the country to adopt a radical new marriage definition. Jean Villard, the communist mayor of Cabestane, led the ceremony, which he described as a militant act. A French government minister has responded, calling the move a provocation. The French National Assembly recently voted in favour of retaining the traditional definition of marriage, after a court case ruled it was up to Parliament whether to change the law. In Scotland, the government is currently holding a public consultation on changing the definition of marriage. Last week, the Christian Institute launched a handy way for people to submit a response via its website, and so far, over 400 people have used the online form. So if you live in Scotland, there's still time to add your response to the consultation. Just visit christian.org.uk forward slash marriage Scotland. That's christian.org.uk forward slash marriage Scotland. A Christian baker in the US state of Iowa may face legal action after she politely told a lesbian couple that she could not make them a wedding cake. Victoria Childress, who runs her cake baking business from home, has also received hate messages for her actions. She told the lesbian couple she couldn't make the cake because of her convictions for their lifestyle. The couple, who thanked Mrs Childress for her honesty, are considering whether to lodge a civil rights complaint over the incident, saying, Awareness of equality was our only goal in bringing this to light. But Mrs Childress says she made the decision purely in the light of her walk with God. I said, I will ever call you down a Christian. And I said, I do have conviction. Um, and I said, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that I'm not going to be able to do your case. It's not so much to do with them as it's to do with me. And my walk with God, what I will answer to Him for. They thanked me for being honest with them. They were very pleasant. I did not belittle them. I did not speak rudely to them. There was no condescending remarks made. Nothing. The Christian Broadcasting Council has warned that churchgoers are underrepresented at the BBC and it may be affecting their output. The comments were made in a submission to media watchdog Ofcom to ensure faith is fairly represented in the media. The CBC highlighted the BBC's own research, which showed only 37% of the corporation's staff professed Christian faith, considerably lower than the national proportion. J. Peter Wilson, a CBC media consultant, said it is important that media organisations, including the BBC, employ people with a real knowledge and understanding of religion, including the Christian faith. And finally, former footballer Gary Parkinson has landed a new job as a talent scout despite suffering from locked-in syndrome. Gary, who is just 43, was left completely paralysed by a stroke last year, and now his only way of communicating is by blinking his eyes. He has been recruited by his former team Middlesbrough, with manager Tony Mowbray saying, We were determined to give Gary a role where he could feel involved. 
Not only that, I genuinely value his opinions about the game. Gary receives DVDs of young players and has devised a rating system with his wife Deborah where he communicates his views by blinking. Deborah said, Gary still loves football, knows all about youth football from his time as the youth team coach at Blackpool and you can see his mood picks up when he is doing it. Well, that's all for this week. For more information and regular updates on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.